Fred a Porter film. Fred a Porter, released in the U.S. as Ready to Wear Fred a Porter, is a 1994 American satirical comedy drama film co-written, directed, and produced by Robert Altman and shot on location during the Paris Fashion Week with a host of international stars, models, and designers. The film features an extensive ensemble cast, including Katarzyna Figura, Anouk Amy, Marcello Mastroianni, Sophia Lauren, Kim Basinger, Stephen Riel, Lauren Backpaul, Julia Roberts, Tim Robbins, Lily Taylor, and Sally Kellerman. Plot As models, designers, and journalists gather for Paris Fashion Week, Fashion Council head Olivier de La Fontaine chokes to death on a sandwich, leaving behind a wife, a mistress, and a mysterious Russian companion who has fled the scene. As the death is being investigated, three rival magazine editors vie for the exclusive services of a trendy photographer, who sexually humiliates the three, leading them to vow vengeance against the photographer. Meanwhile, two American journalists begin a hotel room tryst during Fashion Week. Cast Production In reference to the scene in which Simone's models walk down the runway completely naked, Robert Altman said, the actors knew, but most of the audience didn't, so I got the surprise reactions I was hoping for. Those women were wonderful. However, I think that without you, Lemper, the pregnant bride at the end of the show, the scene wouldn't have had that same impact. And title In the U.S., the film was released with the title Ready to Wear Pret a Porter. In other countries, the original title was used. The U.S. DVD and VHS title was Robert Altman's Ready to Wear. Reception the film was R rated by the Motion Picture Association of America MPA. However, following an advertisement by Columbia Records for the soundtrack album featuring a naked Helena Christensen in the New York Times, which also said see the movie, the MPA threatened to rescind its rating unless the company agreed not to use the image advertising the film. Critical Reception Fred a. Porter holds a 24% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes based on 25 reviews, with an average rating of 4.75-10. Roger Ebert gave the film two and a half stars out of four and thought it should have gone further and been meaner. Too many of Altman's jokes are generic slapstick, instead of being aimed squarely at industry's targets. Gene Siskel gave it one and a half out of four stars and called it a true bomb, as director Robert Altman, on a very hot streak, improbably finds absolutely nothing funny or fresh to say about the fashion industry and the journalists who cover it with a wet kiss. Lacking a screenplay, Altman's intercutting among boring caricatures grows old quickly. Rita Kempley of the Washington Post called the film a mess that was most compelling when Altman turns his camera on the kitschy runway shows themselves, that perhaps Altman should have made this film as a documentary instead. Kenneth Tiran of the Los Angeles Times wrote that the film sounds like Altman's most recent successes, The Player and Shortcuts. But there is a difference between creative improvisation and absolute chaos, and while those films were delicately balanced balls that magically stayed in the air, ready to wear, with a script credited to Altman and Barbara Sh Owen Gleiberman of Entertainment Weekly gave the film a grade of C and wrote, Virtually everything that happens is held up for our ridicule, yet it's never quite clear what we are supposed to be laughing at. The characters aren't really mocked for their attitudes, their obsessions with glamour and money and style. They aren't savaged in any specific, observational ways that could truly box office. The film had a weak debut at the U.S. box office. By the end of its run, the film grossed $11,300,653 at the box office in the United States and Canada. It grossed $35.05 million internationally for a worldwide total of $46.08 million. Year-end lists. Eighth worst Janet Maslin, The New York Times. Dishonorable mention William Arnold, 
Seattle Post Intelligencer, Intelligencers, 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 Intelligencers. Accolades. Soundtrack. Here comes the hot stepper particle mix in I camos. My girl Josephine Super Cat. Here we come salt and pepper. Natural thing in people. 70s love groove Janet Jackson. Jump on top of me the Rolling Stones. These boots are made for walking Sam Phillips. Sam Phillips. Sam Phillips. Sam Phillips. Pretty remix the cranberries. Third time lucky Basie. Martha Eric Malke, Mitchell Sanchez forming the group Deep Forest. Close to you the brand new heavies. Keep Jiven Me Your Love West End Mix Cease Peniston. Yet while the new power generation. Supermodel Sandwich Turrence Trent Darby. Lemon Perfecto Mix Upwo. Television Adaptation. In August 2021. It was reported that a television series adaptation of the film is in development at Paramount+. Plus. The project will be produced by Miramax Television.